Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. Let me ask you a question. If you watched my last video on clustering, then what is the basic purpose of clustering? The basic purpose of clustering is similar behaving people, similar behaving customers, similar behaving products, similar behaving items should be assigned to one cluster and people, items, attributes, products which are not similar to these should go to other cluster. That is the fundamental of clustering. Two purposes. All these guys should be same and all these guys should be different from these guys. Okay. In this video, we will understand how do we measure the accuracy of your cluster. Now, when I say accuracy, since it is an unsupervised learning, there is no direct way of measuring the accuracy. So based on those two things that I told just now, there is a coefficients defined that is known as silhouette coefficient or silhouette distance. Okay. Based on this, which ranges in the range of minus one to plus one, we say that how good our clusters are formed. Okay. So we will understand how this distance is computed in simple plain English with some basic example. You will be very easily able to remember this always. So what are the two purposes guys? I told you two purposes, right? Purpose number one of clustering is these items should be same to each other, right? This is known as cohesion, cohesion. Okay. Cohesion means these people are similar to each other and these people should be different from these guys. So separation, okay, cohesion and separation. Now using this silhouette coefficient, we measure these two things together. And in the end, we say that how good our clusters are formed. So there are two numbers associated to measure these two. Okay. To understand it very simply, we will take only one data point. Let's say there are two clusters, cluster A and cluster B. I'm taking one data point. For example, let us take this data point. Okay. There are two variables defined to compute the silhouette coefficient for this data point. Okay. And in the end, the silhouette coefficient of your entire cluster is nothing but mean of all your silhouette coefficients. So I'm going to explain you how to compute silhouette coefficient for this data point in our observation. How many data points are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So all of these will have one, one silhouette coefficient. Take the mean, whatever that number comes, that is your silhouette coefficient of entire cluster. Let us understand how to compute for one data point. There is a variable called A, okay, to compute cohesion. A for a data point I. For example, this data point I'm considering as I, okay. Forget all the mathematical formula, guys. What this AI is, it is nothing but mean of all the distances within cluster from this point. So compute the distance of this point from this point. Let's call it D1. Compute the distance of this point to this point. Let's call it D2. When I say distance, remember Euclidean or Manhattan distance, typically Euclidean distance. There is D1 and there is D2. Take the average of D1 and D2. Okay. That becomes your A for this particular data point. So let us say this becomes your A. Now, this is to measure the cohesion. How closely this cluster is associated with its neighboring guys, its neighboring, you know, same, uh, same group people or same group items, right? And to measure separation, we have something known as B. So B for a data point I, in our case, the same data point. What is B for these guys? B is nothing but you take distance of this point from all these points. One, two and three, right? How many distances we have now? One, two, three. So let me write it D3, D4 and D5. Take the mean of all this. Take the mean of all these mean means average. Okay. That average will be a number. For example, a one, let's call it. Now in this scenario, we have only two clusters. Hence I'm taking, you know, 
for representation i am telling you how to compute the average from this cluster there is a possibility that same way this a2 will be computed for some other cluster for example if there are three clusters a2 will also come if there are four clusters a3 will also come but end of it the formula remains same see the distance of this point from all the points in that cluster take the average and what is this bi is it is nothing but minimum of all these averages take the minimum mean okay so what is the intuition behind this guys the intuition is the nearest cluster whichever is the nearest cluster from this particular cluster what is the average distance for this point so what we are trying to see is few data points which is not part of this cluster how close these data points are to this point that becomes your b so minimum of a1 a2 a3 this becomes your b once you have your a and b then your slot coefficient is nothing but b minus a and since we want to measure this on the same scale hence to normalize it max of b and a max of b and a this is nothing but your silhouette coefficient for one particular data point that we discussed now okay how this is making sense guys let us give some numbers and it will be very easy to understand okay typically a refers your cohesion okay cohesion should be high or low tell me cohesion should be low so let us put a low number in cohesion situation 1 a is equal to 0.2 and b is equal to 0.8 situation 1 okay situation 2 a is equal to 0.8 and b is equal to 0.2 okay let us calculate the slot coefficient for both these cases what will happen in first case guys numerator will be 0.6 and denominator will be how much max of these two which means 0.8 which means 6 by 8 right so 6 by 8 is how much is equal to 3 by 4 correct 3 by 4 this is the slot coefficient in first case what happens in second case guys b minus a b minus a is nothing but 0 0.2 minus 0 0.8 which is minus 0 0.6 divided by max of b by a which is 0 0.8 this is this is this will also come to minus 3 by 4 so in one case you have 3 by 4 in case 1 c lot coefficient in case 2 you have minus 3 by 4 so c lot coefficient the better it is closer to plus 1 and you know it is not good if it is closer to minus 1 so as you can see when b becomes small and a becomes large it is becoming negative and other way around it is becoming positive that is where this a measures cohesion, B measures separation, B should be always large and A should be as small as possible. How to capture that? Using one simple formula in silo distance. Once you have all the silo distance for all the all the numbers, all the data points, you just take the average that becomes for the entire cluster. So that is how you measure how, how good your clusters are using this silhouette coefficients. Okay. So if somebody asks you tomorrow how this works, how the, this is working, what mathematics goes inside, simple way you can say two things we try to measure, one is cohesion, other is separation, cohesion is represented by A, separation by B, B should be large and A should be small and in this formula if we plug the numbers in that way then we will see a good score, if we plug the numbers in opposite way we will see a bad score. So I hope you understood how this works guys, very simple to explain, very simple to understand. If you have any doubts, write me in comment. Please press the subscribe button and the bell icon if you like this video guys. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.